Do you want to become successful in the job or the career that you have right now? Now, this episode is simply just for you. Watch this video and be inspired to excel and succeed. Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Talk About Career Success and welcome to my channel. So now you're either watching Jamie Iris Talk TV or you might also be watching Jamie Iris Empowers the Training and Career Channel for you. Today, we will continue our interview with our special guest and that is no other than Captain Dexter Capot. Yesterday, he shared to us how from a decadent and an ordinary sea man, he was able to climb up the ladder of success as a seafarer and became an award-winning captain. For today, our part two and interview with Captain Dexter Capoy, we will try to also take a look at his life before becoming a seafarer. Today, on our part 2 interview with our special guest, Captain Dexter Capoy, we will now know what other challenges in life did he overcome before becoming a seafarer. And if you are experiencing any challenges, difficulties in life as you are completing your course as a seafarer or maybe you're already a seafarer and it seems like it's so hard to be in that position where you are right now and you're asking yourself is there really a chance for me to grow in this career so let us find out from our special guest today how from a beverage delivery boy he became a successful seafarer captain so let's watch this video and be inspired And just like what you've said, uh, of course, it's very important. Uh, he did mention a while ago, before I asked the last question, that, you know, from his position as a deck cadet, uh, and then he became, like, from all the positions, he was able to actually uh, get into those positions. I believe that was also very uh, helpful, Captain, right? Because at least now, when you are in that leadership position, at least you understand. I yes. believe that's why you have the heart. What I can see is... Did it help a lot, Captain, that you can understand, you know, all your team members' role? That's why it's easy for you to, you know, also uh, lead them uh, very well. Yes, correct, uh, Coach Jimmy. Actually, it really helps because, um, you know, when you reach the uh, highest position, um, you must understand uh, the, uh, the kind of job that uh, from uh, all of your crew. So, um, for me, uh, that is that was my uh, good foundation. So yes. that uh, I was able to uh, sitting at starting from the the lowest rank and passing all the positions yes, and i think uh, i love what you've said and i really can see and can tell with what you have mentioned uh that's why it's a good start and you can easily relate uh, to them because a good leader doesn't only you know um command people to do something but at the same time understands very well you know what they are doing so I, and i think that makes a difference i remember myself when i became a leader too uh before like in the restaurant so i was a service crew before i became a manager so it was easy also just like what you said in different positions yeah, that, that was also inspiring story <laughs> yes, yes. I, I think I've shared that to all of you too before. So uh, that that I think that makes us like a better leader that we can be yes. because we understood what we are going through. 
and we can lead them better because of that. So, uh, the challenges are there to overcome as a seafarer, Captain uh, Dexter. What are the top three things you love being a seafarer? Um, first and foremost is the good thing about to be a seafarer is uh, you can travel the world for free. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. And uh, the second one is um, having a good salary, which um, you can uh, provide your family a good life. Uh -huh. And um, able to work with different nationalities. And uh, that's quite great. So again, uh, sacrifices are worth it, everyone. Because again, just like what Captain had, uh, Dexter had mentioned, uh, there are benefits and there are also rewards. But at the same time, uh, behind of all those mon uh, like monetary or benefits that you can get, of course, we have to exert and work hard as a uh, seafarer. But uh, all the hard work, just like what he had mentioned, it will pay off. So everyone, so again, for our students and for those who just graduated, Waited and you're trying to find a job so looking forward again whatever position that you will be starting with have courage you know there are rooms for you to actually go and move up the ladder and uh, if you are a seafarer already and maybe you're wondering is there a hope like captain uh, some yeah, people yeah. you will hear that is there a hope for me or will i be stuck in this position so i hope hearing captain dexter actually uh, inspired you now beef uh, there's like another aspect of his life that really inspired me now becoming uh, before actually becoming a seafarer uh in his uh life there are also other challenges uh that uh, Captain Dexter had actually have to face and it was similar also from our life but I'll give the focus of course to uh, Captain Dexter life was not as easy as you, when you started before you even had the chance to study uh, being a seafarer am I right Cap uh, yes. Captain Dexter uh, could you yeah. tell us so that at least they will also have that inspiration that part of your life before becoming an actual seafarer so that at least they can also hope Okay, um, I came from a poor family. My father was only a carpenter and my mother was a plain housewife. So we struggled financially. Uh, after high school, I stopped for two years before proceeding to college because my parents could not afford to send me. And because uh, so that time was brother, my, my brother was also uh, in college. So um, I need to wait for two years for my bro brother to graduate. Then um, the probability of sending me to college is still 50-50. Then uh, during those uh, two years, so I ended up being a driver for a three-wheeled bike to deliver San Miguel products. She, you know, <laughs> yung sikat-sikat coach uh. na yung mm -hmm. nasa gitna yung kwan yung um, gulong uh, yung gulong so I worked that as for um, a year and a half <laughs> delivering soft drinks uh -huh. beer yeah to the uh, um, small um, stores and uh, to the highways so that was my first uh, job for more than one year then also, I took a part-time job on um, a shipbuilding, a small shipbuilding company here in Cebu. So doing shipping, uh, painting. I do even uh, um, what you call this, um, doing a part-time job, uh, sometimes on um, assistant to the carpenter, to the mason. <laughs> so I did all, all of this, no? So the good thing is um, all of these hardships um, that I uh, encountered was really uh, motivates me to become a successful seeker. Yes, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. actually, um, after two years, so my brother was able to graduate. Then. Um, uh, my sister and my brothers is, uh, helped me to uh, send to college. And um, I was so happy because, you know, 
um, I cried before. I really cried when they told me that they could not they could not send me to college because my parents could not afford. And the Were only you the youngest? Hope, Were yeah, you there? I'm the youngest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are eight in the family. I am the youngest. So I cried before. I cried because you know my my high school classmates already going to college and mm -hmm. I was left. <laughs> so I cried a lot because I want to I want to go to college, but um, my parents could not afford. So the only hope is um, through my sister and my brother. So after my uh, elder brother uh, graduated after two years, so uh, it's a shining glory for me because uh, finally <laughs> I have a light uh, to go to college. Thank you so much for sharing that very inspiring uh, story. So everyone, so if you're having difficulty like uh, Captain Dexter, before he be even became a seafarer, those were a lot of challenges, Captain. <laughs> those were a lot, right? And uh, do you see that? Really, I thought mm -hmm. of a part-time job. <laughs> oh, what part-time job? I even, I even became a security guard. <laughs> Oh, really? How long was that? <laughs> uh, actually, it was short, but uh, it, was really, it was really a nice experience because exactly. uh, all the hardships, uh, all the hardship was uh, really paid off. And I think so, Captain, as you were actually uh, sharing that, I'm thinking all those positions has a link to the positions on board. It was just simply yeah, yeah, online. Exactly. Am I correct? Painting. Yes. Uh, yeah. but, right? Uh, even yeah. security. So, and those other jobs, it's like, mm, it's just like on land, but it seems like uh, some of our deck, be, I mean, uh, deck uh, officers or crew members are also doing that. So, I think it helped. What do you think? Because I, I see it, yeah. it seems like it prepared you. Yeah, I think it's what's related. Eh? Yes, it seems like it. <laughs> I think that the, the God really uh, want me to uh, experience this kind of uh, mm. moment in order me to prepare my, my future to become a seafarer. Yes. So everyone, so again, if you're in that stage, I can really relate to Captain Dexter. Uh, you'll hear my story in my in another uh, another episode. But then again, uh, just like what you had mentioned, I think all things really work together for good because even if uh, during that time, he didn't know that he'll become a captain, he didn't know yeah. that he will become a exactly. seafarer, but I think what you just did is you did your best. And you simply just, you know, in spite that the situation seems negative, like he he, he even uh, felt, you know, uh, the, let's just say, uh, you really wanted to study, but it just so happened because of the financial situation, it was so hard. Uh, kaya kailangan maghintay. Sometimes yeah. sacrifices, lalo na if you're the bunso or the youngest. So with all the financial difficulties that your family uh, is experiencing during that time, and everyone for the viewers, if you're a student and at this point in time because of the pandemic crisis, maybe your parents had lost you know, their opportunities to earn and they're not able to send you uh, to college. Uh, just, you know, uh, do your best to help out your parents and don't lose hope. Uh, Captain Dexter did not lose hope. See where it yeah. brought him, right? <laughs> and all the jobs that he actually had as a part-time until security guard. See, that really, it's like, you know, pieces of the puzzle, uh, Captain, it's, right? It's and like then, a training ground. <laughs> yes, it was like a life-changing training ground. So when yeah. you are on board, it was not as difficult anymore, like, right, Captain? It's yeah. still challenging, but I think that helped prepare you. That really helps a lot. That helps a lot, yes. yes. So When you, when you encountered, mm, like, uh, the, uh, when you encounter the situation like this, Mm -hmm. um, when you um, going for a uh, job that uh, you may face like uh, some difficulties, it's very easy because mm -hmm. you already really <laughs> you already went uh, so many sacrifices before. Yes. So on that uh, note, so sacrifices, everyone. So uh, in overcoming challenges, sometimes sacrifices had. Uh, to be made. So I think that's one great learning that we are gaining from Captain Dex.
And then, uh, Captain Dexter, on top of that, uh, as we are about to uh, wrap up our uh, interview for today, and I'm really, 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 you know, uh, very happy because we learned and we're learning a lot from you. I would love to grab this opportunity already to ask you for tips for our viewers. So first and foremost is for those who are, who are already a seafarer, we know we have a lot. So whether, uh, again, uh, our fellow Filipinos, Kabayans, or even other nationalities, because you are leading uh, seafarers from other nationalities. Uh, if there are some who are dreaming to become a captain, what are the five tips that you can give them? Yeah, I have a very good five tips uh, uh -huh. for those aspiring to become a captain. Mm -hmm. First is love your job, and a job will always find you. Second one is you have to work with passion and determination. And then the third one is um, master your present position and study for the next position. The fourth one is uh, you have to focus on your goals. And the last one is always connect with God. Wow, those are really great. I mean, a really great uh, tips for anyone who would like to, uh, if it might not be captain immediately, but eventually, if you want to become a captain, that's uh, very important. And on that note, you know, one thing I've noticed uh, with uh, Captain Dexter, I, I've known him for more than a year now. Uh, he is the type of person who keeps on improving, who loves to learn. And at the same time, you know, um, he's simply so humble and down to earth even if he achieved quite a lot how important is it captain dexter to uh, for any seafarer to keep on learning yes um learning is very important for us to uh, continue growing um for me i am always open to learning um especially that um i have so many plans in life that uh, really needs to pick up so um, my suggestion to aspiring seafarers is never stop learning because um, uh, you will gain so much learning if you are really um, uh, open um, to learn. And then from that learning, um, you will grow as a person. Yes, indeed. So again, keep learning everyone, just uh, like what Captain Dexter had actually mentioned. And uh, if there's one thing, actually, we met in one of my uh, training sessions. So it really makes me inspired and also admire Captain Dexter because in one of my communication excellence classes, so he wants to further enhance uh, his skills because he actually is uh, leading a global team. So I definitely am was very happy to have him in my uh, I mean a speak a public speaking class. So uh, he makes me very okay, proud actually. <laughs> <laughs> and of actually, course, I just want uh -huh. to share the audience. No, I am um, mm -hmm. before I was a very shy person. So I'm so happy that um, because of my eagerness to learn, and uh, also I met up with uh, uh, Coach Jimmy. So. Um, I learned to overcome my shyness. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. You are most welcome, uh, Captain Dexter. I simply, you know, because he has that potential, he has that drive, and, you know, he really wants to become better. So I'm really proud of him. I saw how he he's already he already had that, that great skill, just like what I've told you before, Captain. But I see with your willingness to uh, learn, he even increased his skill and knowledge. So... Great job. <laughs> so it's no wonder that, you know, your company is noticing that and you're an inspiration to your crew members. And then, Captain, of course, we also have a lot of hospitality. Uh, hospitality students who are actually watching us and there are also a lot of cadets who are watching our show as well. What message would you like to share to them especially uh, if they are either new seafarers or uh, like for example aspiring to become one so that they can become successful? Okay, so for the aspiring seafarers like for example uh, for the cadets um now that you are started your journey, um, starting your journey to become a safer, um, first and foremost is you have to gain knowledge and skills. Uh, this is very important. 
because if you have lack of knowledge and skills um uh, you will you will face a uh, difficulty in your job as i mentioned a while well ago you have to work with passion and determination then uh, once you master your present position you have to study the next position just focus on your goals and uh, one thing i want to teach this um aspiring uh seekers is you must learn how to respect your officers and colleagues and uh, one thing is uh, you have to know how to socialize on board and gain good relationships because um, uh, on board the ship um, this is very important because no man is an island uh, you have to maintain good relationship with all crew so that everyone will also love you and um, number seven is uh, you have to maintain good health whether it is on board or uh, assure because health is our wealth so if you don't pass the uh, medical <laughs> medical examination yes. you, can, you cannot work <laughs> and last is uh, you have to work safe always avoid injuries or any accidents you have to come home with a uh, full uh, we don't have no any injuries that's a bis bis very bis important Yes, we are not Superman or Superwoman. Am I yes. correct, uh, yes. Captain Dexter? Because I remember that. So when they say Captain, right? Uh, we're the PPE, especially if you will go to that, uh, you know, the very dangerous areas of uh, that has potent like chemicals. Then you have to wear that uh, PPE. Yes, I uh, wear all uh, prescribed PPE according yes. to your job. Plan. Now, I have an um, additional question, Captain. Uh, could you give, like, for example, those who are applying already? So now uh, they are applying for a CPR position. So what are the interview tips that you could actually give them so that at least they could pass, you know, the basic CPR uh, question and answer? And what are, like, uh, what are the tips? And then what are the common questions that you think that some are not doing very well? Okay. That they could um, on. Yeah, I will give you a good tip. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, actually, most of all uh, money agencies right now, uh, first and foremost, uh, they will give you a SES exam, computer exam. So one thing I can share is so many uh, superiors applying for uh, uh, their position in uh, money agency is not able to pass the exam. So this uh, computer exam is to test your knowledge on STCW and knowledge your uh, uh, testing your knowledge on your uh, skills. But this can be loaded. You have to search in the internet. Uh, SIS 6.0, 6.08, and they have all the answers. So, <laughs> so now it will be very easy for you. <laughs> Okay, get those tips, everyone, no? so that at least you'll be able to definitely pass yes, that. Yes, yes, because if you pass this uh, exam, uh, automatically uh, the next step will be an interview. So interview is more like on your um, uh, your present position, and uh, if you are a decadet, um, what, are, what have you learned from your school? It's uh, very simple. The first thing you have to do is to pass the uh, computer exam. That's the okay. best thing. So that's a very great tip. So maybe you're wondering why on earth am I not passing <laughs> the interview? Yeah. Maybe you are not passing the the basic, uh, which Captain actually had uh, mentioned. Because again, maybe you're taking for granted and thinking only a uh, ship, uh, only a uh, job on the ship is important. But again, the computer skills are also very important. And then. Yes. Uh, once they and also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like to add a uh, coach Jimmy. Yes, sure. Uh, because of technology right now, um, uh -huh. um, now um, many companies are uh, hiring in uh, through Facebook. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So they, they 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 keep on posting through Facebook. So you can you can join uh, so many uh, groups in Facebook like like uh, Urgent Applyan in uh, Kalau. There are so many. Uh -huh. um, for CIFRs, uh, their money agencies posted their origin, like uh, hiring the cadet, 
hiring the uh, other positions to to master to the highest level so actually i i i got my um job here in my new company okay. through facebook so <laughs> yeah so you have to know how to maximize your um uh social media uh, uh, yeah social media Correct. So again, everyone, just like what Captain Dexter had mentioned, so again, in the social media, you could definitely find possible job as a seafarer. Uh, just make sure that, again, uh, the companies are legit. And at the same time, you know, uh, they will definitely be guiding you through on what are the uh, processes. And once you get the job, uh, last few tips. What are the do the don'ts so a lot were uh, already mentioned by captain dexter what are the do's what are the don'ts captain that uh, they should avoid or else they will be terminated as as frank and direct as that because we want them to maintain their job and not be terminated on board what are like maybe three actions that they should avoid because they can get terminated because of that um there are three those no so um mm -hmm. Actually, when you when you sign a, a contract, it it was already stated there. Um, I will mention only three uh, yes. very important don'ts. No? So mm -hmm. when you get the job, make sure that uh, uh, you will not violate the company regulations. Like for example, um, 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 drug and alcohol policy. This is mm -hmm. very important. Um, the captain or the company can send you home immediately when you are um, violating the company drug and alcohol policy. And also, um, drugs right now is very prevalent. No? So before I signed up uh, last year, um, there, there were many cases of uh, drug incidents that involves the crew. So um, don't uh, ruin your career uh, because you are tempted to do this kind of illegal activities. Uh, we are tempt you're you're uh, tempted to have big money, but you will ro ruin your future and think about your family. And also, um, the third one is um, don't do any uh, uh, what you call this um, trouble on board, because uh, when you do trouble on board, um, the captain or the company can send you home. So, again, thank you so much, Captain. That is really very important, everyone. So, again, you had, like, a, it's very challenging to get in, right? To apply yes. for a position. So, once you're there, so um, appreciate it and avoid those three things that um, uh, that was mentioned, or behaviors that were uh, mentioned by Captain Dexter. Because, uh, again, it's common for all the ship. It's the same with the, I mean, other cruise line industry. So whether it's, again, whatever type of vessel it might be, uh, as long as you're a seafarer, you have to take note of all those. So uh, with that, everyone, looking forward that you were able to learn a lot from our uh, guest today. That's Captain uh, Dexter Capoy. And Captain uh, Dexter, for whatever message that you would like to uh, say and share to our guest, I'll give you the floor. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to um, uh, thank you, Coach Jamie, for inviting me here on your uh, show. Uh, it's a big privilege. And uh, for all of uh, CPRs or any of you watching right now, thank you for your time. And um, I have a good news for you. So um, I will be uh, uh, creating a Facebook community for uh, CPRs and all OFW. Um, this will be called for better life, for better life. So on this community, I will share um, secrets how to become a successful captain and uh, some tips how to pass exam on manning agencies like computer exam and others. And uh, I will also share um, how to find the right investment, how to grow your money or let your money work for you. And um, I will give you some tips how to become financially free. And... Also, uh, because I am, um, uh, I work also uh, part time as a real estate 
in real estate. So I will uh, help you find your dream home and investment. Then um, another thing is on this uh, Facebook group, um, I will share how to plan your future and retire early. And one more thing, I will give you some tips how to become an ideal father or parent and many more. <laughs> See everyone, great bonuses from Captain Dexter. Yes, that is another, like a C, he doesn't stop growing. He doesn't really uh, stop, you know, uh, grabbing the opportunities that he could actually help a lot of people. So please uh, subscribe. Uh, and Captain Dexter, uh, please just uh, share to me the, I mean, the page later on. That's Better Life, right? So please, uh, so that at least uh, I could share it also to them so that they could subscribe to you. So grab okay. that opportunity, everyone, huh? And thank once again, everyone. So I just simply want to say, uh, Captain Dexter, uh, thank you so much for this time that you had given to us for sharing uh, your uh, success story on how you had become uh, a seafarer and then became a captain. So if Captain Dexter was able to do that, it was not easy. It was really challenging, but he uh, he was able to do that. We believe, Captain Dexter and I believe that you could always, you could also do that. Whether as a seafarer or whatever job that you have as an OFW or maybe in the Philippines, right? So you can still become successful. And if you want to know more about what he had shared uh, to become a seafarer, to become a captain, if you want like investments, so and be a great father. <laughs> so uh, definitely uh, visit, uh, I mean, uh, Captain Dexter Kapoy's uh, page. So that's a better life. And I'll post it also on our page so that or in the, our community. So please take a look at our community page so that at least you can see uh, Captain Dexter Kapoy's uh, page as well. So uh, with that, everyone, uh, this is... Uh, Jamie Iris simply saying thank you so much for tuning in for our special episode for today let's talk career success and always remember this just like what I've told you saan mandako tayo ng mundo taas noo tayo po'y mga Filipino so with that maraming salamat po and mabuhay ang lahat lalo ng mga seafarers maraming salamat Captain Dexter thank you coach and uh, thank you so much everyone God bless and keep safe Yes, keep safe. And um, may God bless you too, Captain Dexter, for your next voyage. I believe you will be a blessing again uh, to your crew members as well as to your company. Thank you so much, Coach. And more power to Let's Talk to you. Yes, thank you so much for that. Looking for, and we'll invite you again. <laughs> and we'll discuss about the other aspect, like the, the financial opportunities that you just had mentioned. So once he comes back, because he's about to uh, sail once again, so anytime uh, this coming day. So once uh, Captain Dexter is back, I'll invite him again to our Talk TV. <laughs> Anytime, thank you so much, Captain Dexter. So with that, everyone, see you and God bless you. Bye, everyone. Bye everyone! If you find this video informative and very helpful, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to two of my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is Jamie Iris Talk TV where we provide you different updates and inspiring videos about travel and other life-changing video vlogs and at the same time to my second YouTube channel and that is Jamie Iris Empowers the Training and Career Channel for You that aims to help you to grow and develop in your career and get a great job as you search for a job that definitely will give you fulfillment and success. So with that everyone, I'm your talk show host. My name is Jamie Iris and I'll see you in my next video. Wishing you success and more blessing. See you everyone.